Bassie's Learning Land. Hi friends, it's Bassie from Bassie's Learning Land. I have here a really fun adventure. Oh, it's a secret one too, because if we finish this puzzle, there's a secret that we can get. Yeah. All right, remember, if you like this adventure or any of our other learning adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so this is our challenge for today. We have to find the homes of these little friends back onto the big ladybug. All right, so how about we start at number one? Where could that ladybug be? Number one. Oh, what about this one? Take a look. It has one black dot on its back. Yeah. Oh, whoa. And it shows the numeral too. That's the number one, the symbol for number one. Whoa, we got one. Well done. All right, so after number one comes the number two, of course. What? Pardon? Do you see it? All right, where's the number two? It's on this side. All right, tell me when to stop. It's the orange one. Look, one, two black dots. And if we turn around, it has the number two in a numeral. Whoa, so we're gonna put it here where it's orange and it has the word form for the number two. Whoa, we're doing really good as a team. Thanks so much for helping me. Okay, so after one, two comes, of course, number three. Hmm, do you see the number three ladybug anywhere? Ah, which side? Can you point to it? Is it on this side or on that side? Yeah, it's somewhere over here. What color is it? Oh, it's the green color. Take a look. Let's count. One, two, three black dots. And if we turn it around, yes, it's the number three in numeral form. Oh, and we get to put it here, three. Oh, we're almost done one wing, way to go. Okay, let's focus. Number four, where's the number four? Is it on this side or on that side? Whoa, and what color is it on this side? Purple, it's double check. All right, we have one, two, three, four dots, of course. There it is, you are a smarty, good job. All right, so we're gonna put it after one, two, three, and four. Whoa, all right. We are now in number five. Do you see where that number five can be? Mm, it's hiding. Where? Is it on this side or is it on that side? Mm, yeah, it seems like it's on this side. What color can it be? A blue. Right. But is it this one? No, that's a dark blue but it seems like it has too many dots on it. So let's put it back. What about this blue, the light blue? Let's count one, two, three, four, and five. This one has five black dots on it. Okay, <gasps> yes, is this the number five? Of course it is. Mm. So we're gonna put it back with its friends here. Yay! We found one, two, three, four, five. Half of our ladybug is all done. Hmm. All right. So after the number five comes the number six. Hmm. All right. Let's look around. Where's the number six? Oh. Hmm. What color did you say it was? Orange. Hmm. Well, this one looks like it's orange. What do you think? Is this the number six? <gasps> okay, that's a good idea. Let's double check by counting the black dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, and if we turn it around, yes, it has the number six in number form. Hmm, well, now we have to find where it belongs. 
with its word form. Of course, and take a look, it also matches in color. Oh, well done. All right, we're doing really good. After six comes seven. Oh, look, we found the word for first, seven. Mm, okay, so we have these left. Which one do you think is the number seven? Mm, a green one. All right, well, we do have this one. Let's just double check. All right, are you ready to count with me? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's see the number form. Yes, this is the number seven. Now we're gonna put it in its special spot with the word form of how you spell seven. <gasps> Fantastic. Thank you so much for working as a team with me. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the next number. Hmm, okay. Well, to me, it seems like this is getting tricky because all I see is lots and lots of dots. What's that? What can I do? Oh, yeah, you're right. I can take a deep breath and just try my best and make sure I can see and double check by counting the black dots. Okay, I feel much better. All right, which one do you think holds the number eight? Oh, a pink one. Well, I see two pink ones. Which one do you think it's going to be? Is it the dark pink or the light pink? The light pink. All right, let's give that one a try. All right, let's count the dots together. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, yes, we did it. We found the number eight. This is the numeral. Okay, so oh, there's the word form. I had to put it right there. We have two more left. After the number eight comes the number nine. Which one of these holds the number nine? Hmm, you think it's the blue one? Let's see. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> well done. And you'll notice that I'm going to boop, boop, boop. Every time I count, I touch a dot to make sure and tell myself I already counted that one and it's okay to move on to the next one. <gasps> All right, so <gasps> it is the number nine. Take a look. Yes, we're doing fantastic. Where should I put this ladybug? At the top or should I put it at the bottom? Right, I should maybe put it here at the top. Not only does it match by color, but it also matches with its word form, nine. It starts with a N sound, a nine, which leaves us to our last one. Take a look. Whoa, do you think this is the number 10? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There is, there are 10 black dots on it. Yes, we did it. This is the numeral for the number 10 because it starts with a one and it's followed by a zero, 10. Mm -hmm. We get to put it on its spot right here. Oh, whoa, look what's happening. Our puzzle is opening up. Whoa, but where can I find these shapes? Here's something coming. <gasps> Whoa, look at these. There, it seems like there's eggs. Hmm, I wonder what's inside of them. Let's open this one. Missing shapes are inside of these eggs. <gasps> Whoa, what shape is this one? <gasps> it's a circle. Where can we put the circle? 
Hmm. Can you point to the side? Is it this side or on that side? <gasps> yeah, it looks like it goes over here. It has the word circle and it looks like it's the same blue color. Whoa, let's place it right there. Way to go. Oh, which one should we pick next? Should we pick this one? Okay. Can we say open, please? It worked. Whoa, thank you for being so kind. Oh, look at this shape. Hmm, how many sides? Sides are these straight lines on the side. We have one, two, and three. Oh, this shape has three sides. It also has how many vertices? Vertices are the points where these sides meet. So it has one vertice, two, and three. Hmm. Do you know the name of this shape? It's a triangle, of course. Where can the triangle go? Should we put it on this side or on that side? Of course, over here. Can you point to where it goes, please? <gasps> oh, look, this one also has the same shape to it. Well done. All right, we're going to get another egg. <gasps> What's in here, I wonder? Ooh, whoa, look at that. We have a new shape. Hmm. Well, this one has, it looks like more sides than the triangle. Let's count one, two, three, four sides. How many vertices does it have? One, two, three, four vertices. Hmm. It also seems like these sides are all the same length, same size. Take a look. Whoa. Okay. Do you know the name of the shape? Yes, it's called a square. Mm, square, okay. Can you point to where it belongs? Is it on this side or on that side? Oh, well, look at that. I'm already holding it right beside it. Silly me. It's a square. Let's put it right there. Oh, if it's perfectly. All right, let's get another egg, shall we? Can we say open, please? Oh, look at our kind words. It worked. It opened. Ooh. Oh, look at this shit. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Help me count the vertices. Hmm. Let's start at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Five vertices. Ooh. Whoa, what about the edges? Let's start here. And I'm going to leave my thumb here so I know I started right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot of sides. Hmm. What shape is this called? A star. Thank you. You're a special star. You're so smart and you try your best. Well done. Okay, so which side should we put it on? This side? Mm, no. Okay, how about this side? <gasps> yes, look, a star. Well done. And look, it even says star. Star. Mm, thumbs up. You're doing fantastic. We have two more eggs left. <gasps> Can we say open, please? Oh. oh, but what is this? Hmm, this is odd. Is it broken, do you think? It looks like it's missing a piece. No, this is a real shape. Oh, interesting. Mm, I wonder what it's called. It's interesting because it kind of looks like this one. It's almost as if somebody cut it in half. Mm, well, look, I think this is where it belongs. And the name of this shape is called a semi-circle. Yes, semi is because you don't have a full circle, you have half of a circle, a semi-circle. See? Oh, well done. It also reminds me of maybe some yummy, yummy piece of orange. <laughs> but let's put it where it belongs. Let's put it right here, a semi-circle. <gasps> Last but not least, can you say open, please? Whoa, what's this shape? Whoa, look at how many sides this one has. 
Hmm. All right. I almost wonder if there's um, a clue that we can count to know what this shape is. Oh, I know. We've been counting the sides and the vertices. Okay, let's count the sides first. Let's start up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Okay, we know it has six sides. And what about vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> six sides, six vertices. Hmm. Well, I do remember another way of saying six is hexa. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, this is a hexagon. Of course. So where would it go, do you think? <gasps> right here. Oh, we did it. We worked together as a team and we figured it out. Oh, yay. Well, thank you so much for helping me. And I hope you join me on my next ad learning adventure. If you like to learn with me, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you soon. Bye. See you.